see the great southern land we stand on sacred ground and keep you bumping to these native sounds i was like about 600 bucks a week you know busting myself slaving the trade and um, i think oh, i've got to be something better than this and i was reading in the argus the local paper um pathway to the pilgrim i said oh yeah give him a call so i'll ring him up and um there yeah, i started talking to wendy first person answered the phone she said, oh yeah, just come over, fill out the form, do a little bit of training, done the training. Um, I waited a little bit, uh, done an interview with, um, with uh, Monodelphus company, and I, um, yeah, I went all right in it, a bit nervous and stuff, but um, yeah, got through it. And at the end of it, he said, oh, when can you start? I said, as soon as you chuck me on the plane. <laughs> yeah, and I got over there and I just said down the house up, first month's paycheck. It was about 11 grand, 12 grand. You know, I felt really good. My job out there is driving the flatbeds, the six to nine tonne of trucks, and the forklift tele -handlers. If I would have stayed over here working, it would have took me like 30 years to own it. You know, that's slaving the trades around here, hunting for the next job. But over there, I can own this house in about four years, what I worked out on this budget. Our employment program is about offering opportunities and growing the lives, I guess, of our employees, whether they be Aboriginal or non-Aboriginal. Last year, we employed over 60 Aboriginal people from Kempsey. Kempsey provides more employees to Monodelphus than any other place in Australia. It is by far the best service provider we've engaged with. We have retention rates amongst our Aboriginal population equal to and greater than our mainstream um, employment, so over everybody, around about 85%. Now, when we look at that, think about some of the disadvantages that a lot of Aboriginal employees come to us from with a lack of work history, with a lack of skills perhaps, and yet they're able to engage and remain with us. The question obviously is why does that happen? And it's quite simply because of the program that Wendy and Brad have established over here, because they're realistic with the people who want to come and work with us because it's not an easy game working in the remote areas. The pre-employment program is the key to the success of the employment because it builds in not just work skills but life skills. It's things about time management, it's about financial management, it's about healthy lifestyles. The industry we're in is about setting you up for life and you can do it. Ray's just pointed that out. He's gone buying his house. He can buy it and pay for it in four years. You don't have to commit to a 20 to 30 year life in the remotes. But what it will do, it will enable you to get that establishment behind you. You can get your house, you can get your car, and then you can come back and you can work in a job which doesn't pay as much, but it allows you to live comfortably. And that's what we would encourage you to do. I uh, first came through Pathways, started last year. Yeah, just talked to them and then they put me through some training. So I started with Monodelphus November last year. Started out as a TA. Um, about four or five months later, they promoted me up to a plan operator. So I just operated trucks, <laughs> telehandlers and forklifts at the moment. So. Yeah, I enjoy working with Monodelphus. It's a good company, they look after us. I'm currently on r and I fly back this Sunday. Then I'm doing a week's course in Perth, doing my basic rigging. So they put me through that as well, that's another ticket for me. I'm Rosalind Mosley. I'm a very, very proud Dungati woman. I like to acknowledge my past and my present and the future where it's taken me in my journey. I'm a mother of four children. And um, I'm also from a teaching background from early childhood. I took a challenge personally. Looking at those trucks in the mine, I, my legs were going real jello. Same as most of the other, my other two girls there. <laughs> I'm just going, oh God. <laughs> but my biggest challenge I think is when I went to Sydney, I actually drove the heavy vehicle truck in, Liv in Liverpool and it was loads of traffic there. And I was going, oh my goodness. <laughs> I hope I don't kill anyone here, and it's a big prayer. I put all my faith into believing because I tell you what, I had to believe in myself to achieve that. 
I went and approached Brad and Wendy, uh, and yeah, they gave me the rundown on how to get into it, uh, what I needed to do, what tickets I needed, all that stuff. As a member of the Monodolphus, Monodolphus employment, uh, it's been great. Uh, the company's been taking care of me. I first started up in Port Hedland, uh, working at Finnegan Island just as a TA for the riggers. My first day there, I was never worked in so much heat and humidity in my life. I had all these thoughts going through my head, it would it be all worth it? So, you know, with the awkward thoughts in the back of my mind, all of a sudden my first paycheck came and I realized to myself, I'm, this is what I'm gonna be doing. This is well worth it. The motor is, all the cool rares, all the cool rares. Can you hear me? All the lungas, all the mangas, all the bummer. Can you hear us? All the one guy, all the yamachi.